What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to add concrete columns to our model. Okay, so after we learn how to add levels and grids, so on our 0 to floor plan, so we are going to add our concrete columns. Concrete columns can be found on the structure tab. Structure panel, you can see the column there. So our structural column, the shortcut is CL. If you are going to select architecture, you have two ways of creating column. So one is structural column, the other one is architectural column, which doesn't have any uh, load-bearing element. Okay, so your structural column, it contains a vertical load-bearing element, which is needed in designing or analyzing the structural elements in Revit 2022. But if you are just going to uh, create a column, you just want to have that for your modeling or visualization, you can also use the architectural column, okay? So you have two ways of activating your structural column. One from the architecture tab, you select structural column. The other one is you can go to structure and then select the column there. That is also structural column. So the shortcut is CL. Okay, so let's select structural column. Let's click that. And then from our contextual tab, you can see here we have um, options for our uh, structural column. So by default, vertical column is selected, which is what we are going to use. So we are not going to create a slanted column here. And also, we already have our grids here. So we are going to maximize the use of our grids. So that's why from the multiple panel, I'm going to select here at grids. So it creates structural columns at the intersections of selected grid lines. So I'm going to select this. There you go. And then after that, the, uh, from the type selector, if you click the drop down arrow, you can see here the different types of columns that you can use. So you have a uh, rectangular column, you have brown, and then you also have a uh, wide flange column. So I'm just going to use here the concrete column round column 18 inches so i'm gonna select that one and then after that we need to select all the grids where we want to place our column so in my case i'm just gonna use a window selection from left to right release your left click and then you will notice there's the preview already of your column place at the intersection of the selected grids so after that just select finish and that's it okay so you now have your column so you can now terminate your structural column tool by selecting modify or just pressing escape now if you are going to select one of the column let's say this one or any other column from the instance properties you can see here the properties that you can change like for example the base level base offset top level top offset now to make this one clear so let me just go to the south elevation so let us play around with this option so i'm gonna click one of the column here let's say this one okay so what is uh base level so the base level based from the definition so this is the level constraint for the base of the column so at the moment it is located at the entry level here but you can also change that. But for this one, I'm not going to change it. Okay? And you can also change the base offset. So let's say, for example, from, from level 1 or entry level 0, 1, you want that to be lower down. So let's say 1 foot. So you can change the base offset here to 1 foot and then enter. Okay? Oh, sorry. So it should be negative. So it should be minus 1 so that it will go down. So that's the base offset. So if you want that to be moved up, so it should be positive value. So two feet, like, uh, for example, this one. There you go, so that's the base offset, okay? Right. So that's for our uh, base offset. So if you click that one, you can also change the top level. So let me just put it back again to zero, enter. So how about the top level? So let's say you want your column to be up to the roof level. So 
no problem just change the top level here to roof and there you go okay you can also specify here the top offset so if you want an additional distance above so you need to make it positive value so let's say two feet enter and then apply and there you go okay let's say five feet enter and then apply and there you go okay so that's how you use your base level base offset top level and then top offset let me just make that zero again and then let's uh, let me change it back to zero to floor there you go okay so now let's go to the 3d view so let's select 3d view and as you can see on your model there's a blue line that is actually your analytical uh, structure there so an analytical column that is used when you design your your structural model when you do the analysis. so you can use those analytical column okay and then aside from that you can also change the visual style of this so let's say for example from the view control bar below so our visual style here is set to wireframe so let's say you want that to be realistic color or shaded color so you can select shaded color and this is now how it looks like with material you can select realistic there you go okay right so the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to remove some of the columns that is not needed in this model so going back to my zero two floor so i don't need these columns here so i'm going to select these columns here then i'm going to delete that there you go okay and then in the 3d view this is now how it looks like okay now if i want to see all the views open so remember you can type wt or you can select tile views there you go and then if you want to zoom extents your drawing instead of uh, right clicking and selecting zoom to fit one by one the view so instead of doing that instead of doing it one by one so what you can do is let's say the view is like this the view is like that so instead of um, right clicking and selecting zoom to fit you can actually type z a z a stands for zoom all to fit okay zoom all to fit or on your navigation bar here this is what we call navigation bar on the navigation bar you can click the drop down arrow and then you can select zoom all to fit or you can type z a okay you can click that or there you go so it's now zoom to fit and another thing let me just maximize the floor plan here a quick way to zoom extend your drawing is pressing the wheel button of your mouse twice quickly all right like that so you can press the middle button of your mouse to zoom extends okay so let's style again and then if you want to zoom extends all of your views you can type z a or again you just select zoom all to fit so let me type z a and there you go okay so basically that's how you create your uh, concrete columns so on our next video we are going to add steel columns okay so thank you for watching have a nice day